Hello and welcome to Yaogwai Gaming World Workplay Arc. And last episode we finally got ourselves a wavering egg, well we actually got ourselves two, and we are now going to hatch the first one of them. We have ourselves some wyvern milk in here. It is being preserved with some preserving salt, so that's got a decent amount of time left on it. And hopefully that will help us get this wyvern hatched and grown up to be an adult. Hopefully it's female, because if it's female then we have a supply, well I think, I'm actually not certain about this, but if it is female then hopefully that means we have a supply of milk that we can use to hatch more. So we're going to wait until this baby wyvern hatches and then we're going to see what we need to do to keep it alive, to imprint it, and then once it's grown up, we're going to go and have a play with a dragon. It is about to hatch. And we have a little baby wyvern, a little baby dragon. Alright, let's imprint on it. And we'll just leave it as poison wyvern for now. Right, let's put some milk into its inventory. Uh, maybe even put a preserving salt in there as well so it doesn't... Uh, go off as quickly. So if we look, for example, if we put the milk into its inventory, it has a spoil time of an hour, and then the salt brings it up to two hours. Nice. And it's a girl. So hopefully it's going to um, provide us with some milk of its own. Right, we can check its stats using the spyglass. Not brilliant at all. <laughs> but it is only a level 60. We are going to use this one to go and hopefully get some better ones. Let's get it out of this circle of torches if we can. Uh, we're struggling. We did just, literally just go and make a cryopod. So I'll tell you what, we'll use the cryopod to get it out of... Uh, to get it off the roof and out of this circle of torches. Which of course means it drops its milk and salt. Wonderful. Right, let's turn these torches off. I'll leave the fires on because I have them cooking some meat and we'll go down into this space. This should be enough space for it. And it is... Oh, It is safe as well, so that's good. There we go. Right, let's keep an eye on it while it grows up and hopefully we can imprint on it uh, if there's anything it needs. I'm sure someone in the comments said it will need wavered milk to imprint, so that shouldn't be a problem. We've got some up there and obviously some in her inventory. So while I was waiting for our wyvern to grow up, we've just been flying around the area on our RG, collecting some loot drops and finding ourselves some parasaurs. So we have two tech parasaurs now, which gives us a renewable supply of oil and electrical parts and even metal. We also have found, if we have a look in the RG, our milk is almost off now, that's a bit of a shame. But we have also found some wind turbines, not really sure how they work, some oil pumps, not a clue how they work, a flamethrower um, apprentice blueprint, uh, another canteen which is good, a GPS, a C4 remote detonator, and most importantly probably a ascendant mantis saddle. So I think we definitely need to tame a mantis at some point soon so we can play with that. And a pistol, which is nice. Right, but it is time. Our wyvern has grown up. She is an adult. I'm not going to finish that sentence. Yep. <laughs> she is an adult and we can ride her. Is not something I wanted to say, but okay. So this is it. This is the first time we are going to ride a wyvern in arc and look at her she is beautiful she is absolutely fantastic i feel like steve irwin looking at a crocodile like it's terrifying and it's gonna eat me but god it's beautiful let's have a go it doesn't look like we need a saddle there we go right so i am not sure what to do with her at the moment I'm thinking, okay, wow, okay, that's cool, 
I'm wanting to know how fast she is, to be honest, because this doesn't feel fast. Hmm. But then again, it is quite fast. Is that a T-Rex? That's a T-Rex. Right, I'm wanting to see if she can actually carry stuff. Okay, so let's see if we can pick something up with her for a start. Let's have a look around and see what there is. Because I don't know how this thing works. Right, can it pick up one of these guys? Oh no, if I right click, I fire a ball of acid. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, a tech parasol. But I have one. Oh, it uses stamina. Alright, shit, so we need to land. And we piss off those things. Let's get away. We're not going to get far, though, are we? Okay, we need to... Alright, yeah. If we get our fancy new dragon instantly killed by a couple of herbivores, I'm going to be very disappointed in myself. Doing 100 damage per hit, though. That's impressive. That's not too shabby, is it? It's a powerful beast. Right. So I have this egg. <laughs> We're going to give it the egg. And that's... It's changed its colour, but it's still actually quite a nice colour. It's like a pale white with red on the wings. That's... And a red belly. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. So the decision we have to make now is what we're doing with this dragon. What is the point of this particular wyvern? And I'm kind of leaning towards maybe making it fast. Giving it the speed boosts that we've given to the Argy. <clears throat> so then we have like a really fast... Ah, there we go. Okay, so it can collect things. It uses C to collect things, not right click. Right, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, we can collect, for example, this parasaur, and then we can drop it to its death, but it won't die because, well, A, we dropped it on top, and B, things in Ark don't seem to obey gravity, unless it's us. <laughs> so, I'm not sure about this wyvern compared to the Argy for getting more wyverns. It's big. It can't use the trap that we've set up. And it's quite a low level compared to wyverns that we'll meet in the wild. Now, it doesn't have a lot of stamina at all. Like, really low stamina. So it can only fly for a little while. If we give it a tiny buff into its stamina now, for example. Um, let's see, can it even sprint all the way home? I'm not sure if it can even manage that. Uh, yeah, okay, its stamina usage isn't actually terrible. It, it doesn't use its stamina too quickly. So if we can make it fast, we can get it out of the way, but... But, it's not... It's not that great. It is quite a low level. I think what we need is to get a higher level one. Now, we do have another egg. We do have another egg, but I think we're now out of milk. And I don't know whether or not this wyvern produces milk. And if it does, how we get it. No. No, I have no idea how it's supposed to produce milk, or if it's something it just does over time, or what. Right, what we need to do is we need to get some more milk, um, and then... And then we need to get some more wyverns, but I'm not... I'm really not sure if poison wyvern is the way to go to collect more wyverns. So, what we're going to do is get ourselves a bit more milk in our RG here, this good RG. Don't know why I climbed up there. We're going to need to build a storage box to put the stuff that's in the RG in so we can take him out. Um, if we do that now, let's do that really quickly. Storage. Then we can take that RG, fly over to the canyon and see if we can find a 
female that we can get some milk from and maybe some better eggs. Um, I don't want to judge this, um, I don't care about this wooden stuff. I really don't want to judge this RG because it's not its fault that it's a low level. Sorry, the wave Wyvern. I don't want to judge Wyverns just because we've got one that's a low level. That's not fair on the Wyverns. Um, they might actually be amazing and just this one that I've got here is a low level. That's fine. That, that happens. Let's get this. And we want um, enough of this to turn all those into trunk arrows. Yep. Okay. Right. Good. Okay, so we're going to fly over there. We're going to fly over there on our RG, not on our Wyvern. Yeah. And we're going to see if we can get some more milk and then some more eggs as well. Hmm. I'd like a level 100 or plus egg before I really make a decision about the Wyverns. So, let's see what we can find. Okay, so we've just found an explorer note as well. So, this is... Helena. So it took weeks of searching, but I finally caught a glimpse of Wally Al Aswad. I knew I was getting close when I found a series of fluorite formations this morning, and sure enough, I spotted several wyverns later in the afternoon with a lone rider among them. The rider saw me too, because the wyverns were circling overhead, waved and yelled a greeting, calling out Ma Mei Ying's name just in case. The wyverns regrouped and flew off. Right, so she's looking for the person who tames wyverns, basically. Okay. And then we've got another one over here, so we'll just grab it. Why not? Um, while we're here. Uh, since we've grabbed one, we may as well grab two. There we go. So this is Helena's note as well. Death worms! They're a natural barrier. If this place is a space station posing as a real ecosystem, then it needs to keep the wildlife and humans inside it contained in a way that appears natural. So the same as the island has the sea. Ah, this place has the death worms. That makes a lot of sense. The island accomplished that by simply being an island. The desert does it via the death worms. Granted, a large population of predators with ludicrous killer calorie needs would never have lasted in a long place to avoid a prey. But as this is an artificial environment, the station can feed or replace the death worms as needed. It is a little convoluted, but it makes sense. Right. <clears throat> so that makes sense. So the death worms don't actually have a place in the ecosystem because they need way too many calories to keep their massive bodies going, and they live in a place without any prey. That makes sense. But the station can feed them or replace them as needed, and they serve as a... Barrier. That's really interesting. I'm actually enjoying the, um, <coughs> the Explorer notes a lot more on this one because I think I'd know a little bit more about what's sort of going on with the story now. Uh, we've got another one here. This is like a canopic jar, isn't it? That's interesting. Rhea tablet. So is this, I'm guessing with the Egypt style and the canopic jar, this is the people who actually are from this arc maybe i trust our captain's judgment on matters of defense i feel ill at ease with the decision to sally out against these mantises this is not that he's left the village unprotected quite the contrary i feel his own contagion is too small uh, i should not be concerned he vouched for the caliber of his team more immediate priorities our wall gates need repairs our infirmary needs supplies and morale needs boosting i've been scrambling to and fro with such constant urgency that rings have formed Okay, so this is just the story of the people who lived on this ark and their fight against the mantises apparently. That's interesting. Right, so we've got a, another level. Let's let's have a look at that before we uh, before we go flapping around with dragons. Let's see. I'm thinking maybe we can't stack the salt, which is a bit frustrating. Maybe we put it into. Hmm. I'm really torn between health, stamina, and melee. I don't think 1% speed's going to make a difference. Um, let's put it into stamina. If we land, we die. So, Right, we're at the dragon trench. 
And obviously our stuff is right at one end of it, so we're going to flap over to that end first and start doing our looking around over there because, you know, that's where our trap is, so that's where we have the highest chance of success when it comes to stealing an egg, and obviously it's where we have the only chance of success when it comes to... I see you moving there, Rock. It's the place where we have the only chance of success when it comes to uh, capturing a female for some milk. And there's a waiver in there already. Right, let's flap over and have a look. Okay, right off the bat we have a level 50 female fire waver in right here. So we're going to get her to follow us. Uh, that shouldn't be too difficult. The only problem should be surviving, because the fire ones do a ton of damage. Get underground, it's hot out there. Yep, I know it's hot. Fire. <laughs> and... Oh, we managed to dodge that. We managed to dodge each and every one of those hits. Nice. Right, so let's knock her out and grab a little bit of milk. It should... It'll keep for a few hours with the preserving salt, so that's fine. And we'll get some sulfur from killing her. So we can make some more preserving salt if we need. Stop wiggling to and from, that's just annoying. Alright, let's just get a bit closer. Oh, not too close though. <laughs> Angry girl. She shouldn't take too many hits, she's only level 50. And she's covered in blood already, so... Yeah, they're not very stupid. Oh! Bugger! <sighs> Entirely my fault. Entirely my fault. Right, um... That's less than brilliant, isn't it? We're gonna have to go make a regular bow. Which is fine. It's fine. Lock it in. Yeah, we can lock it in. Alright, let's go make a bow while she's locked in there. <sighs> what a stupid mistake to make, not checking the status of my um, bow before doing that. We got any we got any eggs down here? Let's just have a quick look while we're here. Nope. Don't think there are any over on this side. No. Hole here. There we go. There's a lot of metal here, but oh, it's going to take so much time to do that. We do have smithies. I could just make a forge. Why is she out, and why is my gate open? I shut that. Oh, just die. Right, I shut that. And fucking dragons open doors or something because that's bullshit. <laughs> Shut that door. I did. Ugh, that's killer. Right. I think I'm going to make a forge here because this is going to happen again. Okay, there we go. Whee! Can't tell. I'm very frustrated with myself there. Yep. Raw prime and drop it all. Okay. What do we actually need for the furnace then? No, it's a forge. Fiber, flint, hide, stone, and wood. We can get all of that from the surrounding area. And then we can just grab a bit of metal from any one of the mountains. So let's get on with this and let's just fix this problem and then we can actually keep progressing. We have got some metal forging away happily. And we're now ready to go diving back into this dragon-filled cave to see if there's any eggs. I see an egg. I do. I see a fire egg. Okay. Don't know what level it is. Level 50. Ugh. 
Alright, let's go. Let's see how well this works. Uh, doesn't... Yep, they're, ang they're aggroed. Wonderful. Okay. So what we want is to get them into the trap, if possible. Otherwise, we'll have to kill them, and that's actually quite difficult. But if they're following us straight in here... Yep, no problem whatsoever. Wonderful. So what do we actually got in there? Got a 75 and an 80. Alright. Poison, uh, which is female, and they're both female, I think. That's good. Female fire, female poison. Yeah, alright. So as soon as we've got a little bit of metal to repair our crossbow, we can knock these two out, and then we've got an egg and some milk. Repair. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so this is actually starting to work now. <laughs> I can't believe I've fucked up that much, right? Uh, we need seven metal to make a, a spare crossbow, so I think we will definitely have to do that. All right, let's just take these two out. Put a couple of arrows into one and then the other, and then hopefully they will be unconscious very soon. So let's just get that done. Well, this is a very colourful dragon. It's a level 175 poison wavering, so I'm hoping we can kill it without too much issue by staying in its blind spot with our speed. So, it's going to have quite a bit of health though, let's see. Well, I don't think the wild levels affect their actual speed, so no matter what level it is, we should be able to outspeed it. We need to poop. Poop, there we go. So far we're killing it without taking a hit, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want. Um, now I don't know how the eggs spawn. I don't know if the eggs spawn in any sort of relation to the dragons that are at, uh, like spawning as well. So if an egg spawns, does it have a mother? Do the dragons lay the eggs? Do the eggs have any correlation whatsoever to a waverings that are spawning in the real world. I really just don't know. Uh, I like how it falls faster than we can fly. It's quite funny. It's a bit irritating as well. <laughs> right, we'll sit down here. I figured out why I couldn't drop the meat last episode, and it's because you can only use this when the RG is landed. So, there we go, we're now up to 140 movement speed. Doing well. Let's go down and finish off this body, and then this body as well. Right, drop the prime meat again. Rock prime, and drop it all. And let's try and not step in the lava, there we go. Right. Now, if I eat this, am I like immune to the heat or anything? Well protected against cold temperatures and immune to contracting lesser diseases. Right, so it, it insulates me against cold, not against heat. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Alright, never mind. That was a bit of a waste then. Let's have a look, see if we can find some more nests. I really like a high level egg. I don't know what the max level eggs can go up to is. Is it 150? But then we've seen waverings way above 150. So can the eggs go up to whatever max level the wyverns have? The wyverns have we've seen up to 190 so maybe do they go up to like 200 or something? That's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. Ugh. There's an egg there, though. Right. Yeah, we're going to have to try and lure them out one by one and kill them slowly. We can't fight that many at once. Ugh. Right. How to do this? Hmm. Maybe shooting one of them from up here? That might bring them down. 
That's what we did last time when we needed to get one. Oh. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. We've got a heck of a lot of them down here. Yeah, there's a ton. Oh, I am scared of this. Is that an alpha? Is that a thing? Are alpha wyverns a thing? Where's it gone? There. Oh god, it's fast. That's an alpha. Oh dear. Right. Alright. No, we're not coward. We're not gonna we're not gonna chicken out. It's fine. What we're gonna do is hit that one that's stationary, I think. Yeah, there's one that's stationary there. We're going to take that one first. This lightning wyvern. Okay, no we're not because it's moved. It's not stationary anymore. We could hit the alpha. We've hit the alpha. We've done it now. <laughs> oh gosh, I am... Um, I made a mistake. Oh, it's right on top of me. That's not the alpha. This is just a lightning wyvern. So I'm guessing we hit the lightning wyvern instead of the alpha. But my god, it took a chunk of our health off as well. We need lightning wyverns. Look at the health it took off in one breath. Oh, man. I wonder if they actually need... Mutating or specking into stamina as well for us because obviously their breath uses stamina. And that breath attack, holy crap, that just did a lot of damage. Don't want to suffer that again. Don't want to suffer that again. Let's see if we can take it out. I don't know if we can take out this many. Wyverns, it'll be a one by one thing. Oh. <laughs> Watch the egg be like a level 20 now as well. What level is this thing? Why is it not dying? Die! What the heck? 165. Oh god. Uh, so we're gonna have to bring these out one by one and kill them if we want to try and get that egg. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think there's any way for us to tell what level the egg is, which is quite annoying. Uh, there's the alpha, but I mean, we struggled to fight a regular one. Male fire waver and male fire waver and waver nest. <sighs> if that's its nest, though, is it going to be level 150? Is that how it works? I don't know if that's how it works. I think it's best we shoot one again. I think that's the only way we're going to get this to work, is shooting them one by one and bringing them out. I don't think we can reach the um, the trap from here if if we manage to aggro them all. Like we wouldn't get to the trap. We're just missing. And there's the alpha one. All right, let's see what we're looking at. That's the 150 fire wyvern. That's a 140 Lightning Wyvern. It's a, it's a level 10 Alpha. I want, the, I want the Alpha. I want the Alpha. Yes, the Alpha's coming. The 
the alpha's here, right. Oh, this is not a clever idea. It's only level 10. Oh god, it's black and scary and big and oh, it breathes fire. It's fast. Can't stay in its blind spotlight with the others. I don't know what, how much health this guy's only level 10. It's gonna wreck me. This was a mistake, wasn't it? This was a colossal mistake. Alright, we'll take it as a sign. If we manage to kill this guy, then we'll take out those other wyverns one by one and we'll get that egg. If we don't manage to kill this guy, we'll be dead. So, we'll hatch the lightning wyvern and we'll try and get that leveled up and see if we can use that to get more eggs. So, this is the... This is what we're going to do. Yeah. This is our sign. I mean, we're running out of stamina here. That's it, isn't it? If we run out of stamina. Where's it going? Where's it going? What the heck? What the f... I don't understand. I'm going to use the awesome spyglass to see its health. Ah, we almost killed it, that's why. So it's run away because we've almost killed it. I didn't know it would do that. That's really interesting. It's coming back. Of course it flipped, it is. And we'd lost a lot of our stamina. That's why I was trying to land. A coward. Come here, you cowardly dragon. Yeah, dragon slayer. Come on, come on. We can do it. Oh, yes! Now look at that. Killed an alpha wyvern. I mean, it was a really shit level, but we did it. What did we get? Uh, oh my god, that's a lot of milk! Wyvern gloves and an alpha wyvern trophy. Milk. Let's put all that over here. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, all right. Yeah, that makes sense. That's fine. Um, let's put a point into damage. And oh, Mastercraft crossbow from it as well. <laughs> yes, yes, that was good. That was very good. I'm really happy with how that went. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the rest of them out one by one and try and clear them out and see if we can get this. Um, See if we can get to this egg. So let's go, I guess. We have got ourselves. That is the wrong button. We've got ourselves. There we go. Still do it sometimes. A level 15 lightning wyvern egg. A level 5 fire wyvern egg. A level 50 fire wyvern egg. A level 40 fire wyvern egg. And a level 100 fire wyvern egg. Now, that means we can do. A, we can try and breed a level 100 fire wyvern baby that is imprinted using that 100 egg. Um, oh wait, no, we don't need to breed to imprint. We've got eggs. I'm an idiot. They're already imprinted. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hatch the level 90 lightning wyvern and the level 100 fire wyvern. And then I think we're going to give all the different types of wyvern a test, see what we think of them all, see which one we prefer to use, and see which one we can maybe start looking to level up for getting more eggs. We need a higher level. Oh, level 100 cannot be the highest level egg. It has to be higher, and we need higher. If we want to use wyverns to beat the boss in this map, which I would really like to for thematic 
reasons, then we need to find the highest level eggs we can find. So let's get home, let's get these hatched, and let's see what we think of them. And here we are with our three da dragons, dinosaurs. I almost called them dinosaurs, they're definitely dragons. We have Spitty, Spicy, and Sparky. Our Poison, Fire, and Lightning Waverins. So we can give each of them a little egg, boost their speed. Still don't know if it boosts their speed when they're flying or not. Oh, well now we have two red ones. So our fire one is looking at their stats realistically by far superior to everything else. It, the issue with Sparky is so many of his points went into uh, oxygen, which is just is utterly useless. And Spicy has decent stamina compared to the other two, uh, decent carry weight compared to the other two, better melee than the other two. He's just better in every possible way. So I think it's definitely going to be Spicy that we uh, mess around with. I have had a quick fly on them all. And while the Lightning Waven, Wyvern is doing the most damage per breath, it's also really hard to aim with. So, I'd like us to fly our fire waven over to the cliffs, over to the canyon, and see if we can pick a fight with another wyvern. See if we can figure out how these things actually function. See if we can figure out how they fight, what's the best way to use them, and all this, that, and the other. So we can... It's difficult to aim with them, I'll say that. It's very difficult to aim, and it uses all of their stamina to do a breath attack. Just so much stamina to do a breath attack. Um, we do have a few levels now. I don't think we need to put many into health. I'm really torn between stamina and speed, but I'm thinking maybe we should get our stamina up to like one or two thousand first. But that's obviously going to take quite a few points. If we can find a... Oh god. An explorer note on the way, that would be really helpful. So let's go looking for one of them as we head over towards the canyon. And I think we found one. Pretty much straight away. Let's have a look. Is there one here? It looks like there should be. But we're so zoomed out on the dragon, it's hard to... What is that? Die. Oh, it's a bunny rat. It's a bunny of a... Although, uh, yeah, that didn't need to be killed. There it is, I think, maybe. Is that it? Yes! Okay, awesome. Right, let's walk over it on our wyvern. There we go. Right, so who is this? Decaya. From my caution, I could have never prepared for this yesterday. The tower started flashing, glowing like a damn lightning storm. When I saw that, I saddled up one of our cats and went to find Raya as fast as I could. Within minutes, the ground was crumbling beneath us like the land was trying to swallow the Nostai whole. Once I swung Raya up into the saddle, I had to ride like a man possessed, our cat leaping across broken buildings as they slipped into the ground. Even then, we barely made it. But we're the only ones. I spotted Sasha hanging onto a ledge as we escaped, but I couldn't get him in time. We're all that's left. So I wonder if this is the creation of the canyon. Um, the ground opening up. So it does seem that they've got some ruins over in that sort of direction. So, hmm. Right, we do have a level now. Let's have a look. How many did we get from that? Three. Let's put them into stamina. Get at least a thousand stamina. And we'll kill anything interesting that we see between here and the canyon just for a few more levels. Right, so our dinos. Dino, I don't know why I keep calling it dino. Right, so our dragon has had a few levels put in him. And now what we need to do is test it out. Which involves finding a nest. Oh, we found an enemy instead. Cool. Right, I suppose we can see how the fighting goes as well. We got a flame attack on them, that's nice. 
Uh, they seem... Yeah, okay, so flame attacks don't work. Oh, this is not good. They're quite fast. Alright, let's see if turning without sprinting will get us into position. Nope. This isn't great. The RG's much more maneuverable. Ah, uh, stopping to try and get into position has not helped at all. Because they're chasing us, not the other way around, we're just getting screwed. Can we at least outrun them? Let's see about that. Yes, by far. Which means, let's see, can we turn now and fire? Out of the stamina though a little bit, aren't we? Oh gosh. Right, well we managed to catch it with a fire breath. This isn't good. No, I'm very unsure about the suitability of wyverns for this. Or I'm just really bad at using them. But we're going to run out of stamina in a minute. And then we're going to die. Is it going to land to fight me? Do you think? No. No, it's not. I mean, why would it? But if, we, if it keeps angling itself in stupid places, we might actually be able to get it. Got it with a fire breath there. This is proving to be a lot harder than just using an RG. Yeah. I really don't know. What level is this one though? Insufficient stamina. We're gonna die. It's almost dead. But the, that lightning attack. Ooh! It was level 100. Alright, fair enough. <clears throat> okay, I am not sure about this at all. Mm. Right, what we need to do is find a nest and then we can maybe use the speed. To be fair, this, this, di this dragon is specced into stamina and speed not fighting at all. So let's grab something to eat, which will probably be you. And that got us a level up as well. Nice. Oh, the other vultures are going to eat it. All right, we'll eat the, uh, the scorpion. And we can heal, get some, get our health full, and then we'll go down and try and find an egg to steal because I think I think where this where this wave wyvern might excel is its speed. What is attacking us? That thing, okay. Yeah, I think where this wyvern might excel is just in pure speed. It can obviously outrun the others. So let's get in there, grab an egg, and run for the hills. <laughs> right, we're gonna just dive for it. There's at least three. There's one there, one's just flown up there, and there's one more over there. We want to see how well this works. I already don't like it because of how big it is, how long it takes to turn. We drop off, we grab the lightning egg, and we flap away. Now let's see what's going on. Yep, we've got some stuff following us. Right, so let's see whether or not we can outrun them. That's the plan, isn't it? If we can't outrun them, then it's going to have to be a case of fighting to get more eggs, and ugh, I don't know the best way of doing that. I'm starting to think a small army of Argies might be the best way of getting eggs. Oh, hello, look, there's this pretty one. Right, well, I mean, that worked. We got away, no problem. So... This is definitely fast enough to get us out of the way with an egg. But it's a case of you dive in, grab one egg, and then come out again. The other option is... Getting the Lightning Wyvern, which seems to by far have the highest damage. And is that a Wyvern following us? 
think it is, but no, it's an RG. Yeah, he's getting our Lightning Wyvern, because they seem to have the highest DPS, and specking it to be a fighter, and then seeing if that can kill them better than our RG can. Yeah, alright, so we're going to go back, and we're going to get on our Lightning Wyvern, we're going to get Wyvern, we're going to get on Sparky, and we're going to see how Sparky does as well. So we're going to test them all. The poison one, I don't like. Uh, the globs move too slowly and I don't think they're very effective, so... It's between fire and lightning, really, I think, for me. So let's go get the lightning one and let's give it a try. The last egg we got was from this little cubby here. And now there's another egg down there, as you can see. I think it's a poison wyvern egg. And we've almost got a thousand stamina on this wyvern. Let's try and grab it, but first we're going to have to kill this guy, I think. So let's see if we can even do that. Okay, not too shabby straight away. Alright, let's see where's he gone. He's there. Let's see, can we hit him? A little bit, but not quite. And it just takes up an absolute ton of our stamina to do that. Uh, they're so big and stompy. They're like Rexes. They're everything I don't like about Rexes. Just big and slow. Let's see. Right, now we're behind. And he can't hit for Toffee, can he? He really can't hit. Let's see. If we stop and then shoot. Come on. Yeah, I think the only reason we're actually not dead here is that it's a poison wyvern. And if it was a fire wyvern, I think we'd have died. Right, let's get a oh a lightning wyvern. A fire or a lightning wyvern would have absolutely wrecked us just then. I think they're good. They're basically rexes. It, as far as I can see, they're like sky rexes. They have a place, but it's definitely not anything finicky and. Um, <laughs> requiring finesse. So, what that means, as far as I'm concerned, is that I'm going to get a couple more Argies, and I think I'm going to do basically Argie spam, maybe? That might work. Or bring my Argie and my three Wyverns. Because we don't have any really, really good wyverns yet. So maybe just hatch all the wyverns we've got and then bring them as an army. And we'll just keep throwing them against that canyon until we've got um, a high level egg. Uh, like a 150 or, or a 200, level 200 or whatever level the eggs actually get to. We're not sure yet. Until we've got a max level egg. And then from that max level egg we can, you know sort ourselves out a proper actual boss fight worthy army of wyverns but at the moment yeah. <laughs> they're very difficult to use that's the problem they're really difficult to use it'd be easier if there was like if you could actually control their breath attacks properly but they're very inaccurate like um, let's see if there's something we can shoot at Let's have a look. Right, so you got this guy here, yeah? So if we land, and if we turn Spyglass on so we've got the target targeting circle in the middle, yeah? So... Where is he? Sh he's just shooting at the ground. Like, there's no... Why is he shooting at the ground? How... I need to, like, if I aim up here... It just doesn't make sense where he's aiming. Now maybe that's because he's angled, so let's sit on the ground. Even then, you see, we need to, like, point all the way up here for him to actually hit anything. It's difficult to use, basically. 
Alright, let's let's see then. Let's let's get back and let's assess our situation with our RGs and our wyverns and everything that we need to be doing going forward from here. Home sweet home. Right then, we have a poison egg and we should have some more eggs in our storage. Let's have a look. It's very fast RG. Let's have a look. How many eggs do we have? Now this is a lot of wyverns in total. What I'm thinking is that we hatch them. We get all the wyverns hatched. We basically create a dragon army. And with this dragon army, we put them all in cryopods, fly over to the uh, wyvern cavern on our speedy RG with the uh, army of wyverns with us and we just basically brute force our way into this we just brute force our way through what's going on here so by that i mean we fly above the pit above the canyon with like seven or eight wyverns with us and we just order them to attack and we don't care too much if we lose some of them because honestly we don't have any very good ones yet so we just fly over, bring all our um, wyverns in cryopods, uncryopod them all, maybe some of the crappier uh, RGs as well. Just basically a big flying army, and then we just brute force anything that stands between us and the eggs. That's, I think that's the best option for now. Uh, we could keep doing what we have been doing, where we dive in with this RG but it takes a long time, and I, we have a lot of things that I don't really care that much about. These three wyverns together could easily take on a better wyvern. They could probably, together, the three of them, take on an alpha, especially if I was helping on my fast RG. So that's the plan, I think, from now, for now onwards until we find a really good egg, is I'm just going to brute force that canyon. <laughs> With just an army of dragons, even if they're all shit. Just numbers. Just numbers. But that is all we have time for for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.